distinguished the members of this committee. Thank you for the opportunity to testify on my amendment uh, 356 uh, to RHR uh, 3935. This amendment is simple. It adds an additional seven round trip flights to Ronald Reagan Air National Airport. That equates to one route for each airline currently operating out of DCA. <clears throat> not 28 routes, which was originally requested, not 14, which was a, a reasonable compromise, but seven. <clears throat> one route for each carrier. What is the result of each carrier having one additional route? It mitigates the high cost that millions of Americans must budget for to visit our national capital. This modest growth represents only 2% of increase in air traffic in and, out of, in, in and out of DCA. It's purely additive, poses no threat to existing services, and maintains all existing flight, rights, flight, flight routes, routes. This, by the way, is spelled out clearly in the amendment. I quote, this amendment prohibits eliminating any present services when adding beyond perimeter flights. A nearly 60-year-old federally imposed Primitive uh, rule has made Washington and Reagan one of the most expensive airports in the country. It is also the only airport in our nation that has been sheltered from the benefits of the free market by D.C. legislators. Those free market benefits of competition and meritocracy can be seen in every other sector of our society. It grants the American consumer best prices, best, best convenience, and best value. This bipartisan effort will begin to modernize the arbitrary, protectionist, federal policies put in place for the economic protection of one airport and one airlines. This bipartisan effort will instead put the focus on the parties on the, the American consumer, the means of our constituents, families, elementary and high school students, small business owners, and other D.C. visitors who have been priced out for years of the option to visit, learn, and redress their representatives in the nation's capital. We have an opposition that seeks to protect the status quo. That 60-year-old status quo is anti-consumer. By its nature, as a monopoly, it seeks to stifle competition and sends a very clear message back home to the American consumer. We are determined to keep our choices low, which will translate to you as keeping your flight tickets high. I want to highlight some of the amendment facts. Recent studies show that DCA has enough capacity to handle over 90 additional flights per day. This amendment adds only seven. Due to technology, uh, technological uh, advancement and previous FAA authorizations, the number of Americans subject to subsist, uh, sufficient, uh, significant um, aviation noise exposure has decreased by 94 percent from the 1970 perimeter rules that was first established. And due to the American innovation, we're just getting started. Allegations that this amendment benefits only one airline over another are patently false. All this amendment, this, as this amendment uh, benefits all airlines operating out of DC, DCA equally, each carrier will win an additional route. The biggest winner, though, will be the American consumer. With the free market choices, means we'll get a best price, best value, best convenience. This has shown us the transformative power of compromise, and this bipartisan solution agreed on by both sides is indeed transformative. Every American should have the opportunity to visit our nation, uh, their nation's capital and witness their, act, their government in action. This body should aggressively pursue opportunities to increase access to our, for our constituents while working to decrease costs. I urge this committee to support our compromise and open the doors of Washington, D.C. to every citizen of this great country. Thank you, and I thank you for the opportunity, and I yield back.